Hey guys, it's Oakland, you're back again with another video. So today, I'll be showing you how to play DS games and how to add your DS games to the Nintendo Switch. So, basically, what you would need for this is you're going to need a hacked Nintendo Switch like I have here running on Atmosphere. And you're going to need the homebrew launcher and just the necessary stuff like Hecate and all that stuff. Another thing you're going to need is a PC and a USB Type-C cable or some way to transfer files into your SD card. If you don't want to take the SD card out, then I recommend using the USB Type-C Hecate method, which I'll be showing you in this video. Another thing you're going to need is to make sure your Switch can work and stuff, and we'll also have to be configuring some settings in the Melon DS thing. So let me show you what Melon DS is real quick. So basically, if you don't want your Switch to crash when playing a game or crash at all, you're going to have to press the game and start it. And from here, you just got to wait until you get in this menu and to get into this menu you need to press the r button right here when you're here you click melon ds and i'll show you what this is so basically this is a nintendo ds emulator and it can run the whole ds firmware and everything on it so i'll show you a quick example for me i'll show you mario real quick and here you are uh, my screen's configured this way as you can see here and all that so it's gonna sound glitchy in the beginning but in a second it'll get fixed as you can hear and let me get to my save state. To get to your save state, you have to press these two triggers right here. And when you're here, I'm gonna click my load state number one real quick. And I'll let this load up real quick. So as you can see, it works perfectly fine. And you can reconfigure these screens as you want. I have my main screen here, but you're gonna have these two screens somewhere like this. And this bottom screen does work, as you can see. But this is basically it for the Melon DS software, really. So let me show you how this thing works. So first thing you're going to need to do is go into your album. And then you're going to go into the Homebrew App Store, which is for me, it's right there. So when you're here, you want to enter the Homebrew App Store. And you just want to wait for it to load real quick. And once it's done loading, click search. And then you want to search Melon. And then when you're here, you're going to see this thing. You want to click it, and you want to click A to download. I'm not going to re-download it, otherwise my thing's going to start glitching out. So once you have it downloaded, what you're going to need to do to add the games is this. You want to go back to your album cover thing real quick. And you want to go into Reboot to Payloader, which is here. Once you're here, you want to press the minus button. And then you'll be brought in back into this hacking menu. From here, you want to get your USB Type-C cable and plug it into your PC. And then you wanna plug it into your Switch. Then you wanna make sure it is charging. So let's wait for a second. And there you go, the charging symbol's now on, so we're good. Next, what you're gonna need to do is go into Tools. Then you wanna go into USB Tools. Then you go into SD Card. Once you're here, now you're connected to your PC. So I'll show you what to do on the PC now. All right, so now when you're on your computer, here's my ROM I have right here. And for me, I have Mario and Luigi partners in time. So what you're gonna need to do is you can open your file explorer and then you wanna look right here, it should say switch SD right here. Once you click on it, it should be this. So as you can see, it'll load up as an SD card and here's everything for my switch I have right here. So over here, you would like need to make a folder called NDS games right here. And this is where you can have all your NDS games and everything. After that, you want to get your ROM right here. You want to open up the folder and then you want to close this thing. And I'm using, I think this is WinRAR and I think WinRAR is the best option from here. You need to just drag and drop. So once it's done right here, loading, that's all you got to do for the PC side of things. And to get the games and everything, I'll probably have the links in my Discord server if I'm allowed to. So join the Discord server to check if there are links to see where to download all your games from. But I put my thing on the main thing. You don't want to do that. So I'm going to take this back here. And let me just delete this one real quick. So you need to make sure your thing is in your NDS games, which I forgot to add mine into. So let me put mine here. And there we go. Once this is done right here, you don't want to take out the USB Type-C cable like that. Otherwise, your file won't pop up. What you would need to do is you need to right-click Switch SD, and you want to click Eject. Once you click Eject, you want to wait until the file is done. So let's see if this thing is done yet. Let's 
Let's try it again. And there you go. Now it is ejected. So you need to wait for a second. It is a little slower to transfer files this way, but I think it's still better than taking up the SD card and putting it back in. After that, you can delete these two files if you want to, but yeah, that's all you can do for the PC side of things. It's pretty easy. All right, so now back onto the Switch side of things. What you wanna do here is you wanna press close and you wanna go back to your main menu right here where it says home. When you're in the home menu, then you should disconnect your USB Type-C cable. So once you disconnect it, you wanna go into payloads and you click fusey.bin. So now we're gonna get back into the main OS for the Switch real quick. Or the atmosphere in it. So here we go, it's back up and running. And if you do it correctly, your switch will boot up correctly without having any error messages. When you're here, you wanna just open it up and then you wanna launch a game or any application you have here. Once you do that, you click it and then make sure you're holding the R trigger right here. Make sure you're holding it down. And then you should be brought up to this homebrew menu. When you're here, now you wanna open Melon DS. Then you press browse and then you can go to your file directory. So when you're here, you have to go through your files and then see where it is. So for me, you have to just type it in for a game right here. There's a search thing and you wanna press Y to type a game in. So this is my file directory right here and you wanna make sure you type it like this and then it should pop up. If it doesn't, then you have to probably add them on your own. So let's go back real quick and that. So now for your emulation settings, you wanna go on emulation settings real quick and you wanna make sure your thing looks like this. So that's that for emulation settings. This is what your display settings should look like. If you want it to be the same layout as mine, this is what it should be. And this is what your input setting should be too. So those are your settings you probably would need for your thing. And then from here, we're gonna click browse. And then we're gonna click this. And then from here, this is how you add your games. So you're gonna see the three things here. You just wanna go to your folder called NDS games. And there you go. So now we're gonna look for the game we just got, which should be Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. So let's click it. And there you go. And you gotta wait for a beginning. It'll sound a little glitchy. And another way to fix a glitchy audio is going to be this. So let's press close. And to get to this menu, you need to press the two triggers right here. So you're gonna press close, and then you're gonna go into emulation settings, and we're gonna change console mode to DSi and we can change this thing to the max real quick which is 1785 already have and then that's it so now let's see if it fixes it but it should probably not work because it is in beta and as you can see it shows an error message what you want to do if you want to get the most out of this is to first put this thing back here and you want to go into your emulation settings and then go to DS and this is what it should be so that's how you get the most out of it on this thingy and another thing if you really want to like make it the best as you can you want to do this thing where you skip it and you want to make your cpu clock at 1785 another thing you want to do is enable overclocking so this is this and then my overclocking is enabled right now so right now i'm running the max the system can handle because i have overclocking on the switch enable and i have the cpu clock at 1785 megahertz right now so this is basically it for installing games and how to play games for your Nintendo Switch. Um, I hope you liked the video and yeah.